5. Notice this, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. If so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being burdened, not for that we should be unclothed, but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. And think about it. Moses' tabernacle, Solomon's temple, Herod's temple, they're all gone. None of them exist. They have all been destroyed. There is going to be another temple, a temple not made with the hands of man. That's the temple that Christ himself is going to dwell in. And we are that temple, a building not made with hands. Let's go back and look at what we've been seeing. Here is the wilderness tabernacle. You have the wall around the tabernacle, which is the cell membrane. You have the mitochondria, which is the altar. You have the chromosomes represented by the 46 boards that make the sanctuary. And then inside that sanctuary, you have the nucleus. And in that nucleus, that's where the Ark of the Covenant is. That's where the throne is. That's where the pillar of cloud was by day, pillar of fire by night. And that is where you have the DNA, the book of the law, rolled up like a scroll. So literally, I mean, we are the very temple, the very tabernacle of God. We are the dwelling place of Almighty God. Now,